switch receiving, inspection, and installation. It is important that a receiving inspection be performed immediately upon receipt to determine if there are any missing or damaged items. Cross-reference the materials received against the packing list that is provided by the delivery driver. In addition to the packing list, two important documents will be found in the parts and accessories box. A quick setup guide which provides a general installation and adjustment overview for both the switch and operating mechanism, and a disconnect switch shipment overview document which details our standard marking and drawing procedures. Visual illustrations to support identification of parts will also be included. Typical shipments will consist of switch phases, bundled operating pipe, as well as crates and boxes which house parts and accessories. Insulators are shipped either pre-assembled or crated separately based on customer preference or shipping limitations. Locate the drawing package found inside the cardboard tube to inventory all items against the bill of material. If it is discovered that parts or equipment are missing and or damaged, file a carrier claim immediately and contact the Southern States Service Division. Before proceeding with installation, refer to the Quick Setup Guide and Instruction Book for step-by-step -step instructions that will guide you towards proper installation and adjustment of the switch. To begin the installation process, uncrate the switch phases. If the insulators are not pre-assembled, unbolt the live parts from the switch bases and proceed with installation and adjustment of the insulators. Once the base, insulators, and live parts are installed, or if they are shipped pre-assembled, it is now time to lift and mount the phases to the structure. Refer to the operating mechanism drawing for proper position and proceed with the following lifting instructions. With the switch closed, secure the blade using a rope or other type of strap to prevent movement during the lifting process. Secure the switch arm to the bearing stop using a wire or strap. Finally, ensure that all lifting is performed by a qualified rigger and per the switch's instruction book guidelines. If you need additional information, contact Southern States. Once lifted, mount and secure each disconnect switch phase in the closed position to the structure using the hardware indicated by the operating mechanism drawing. If possible, mount the conductors to both ends of the switch pole before adjusting the switches. Verify that the insulators are properly aligned. If adjustment is needed, refer to the instruction book for insulator stack adjustment instructions particular to your specific mounting arrangement. 